Hi everyone, it's Karen, and I'm back with day 29 of the 100 day project. Again, I'm still still a few days behind schedule, but hopefully I'll get the next few days and next few days done up and caught up today. So I want to continue from where I left off yesterday. And I want to do the, the second half. I want to build on this page over on here and kind of connect connect the two pages. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add some color in there. And I'm going to use my water soluble Neo Color 2s. And I want to choose colors that kind of coordinate in with with some of these. Good, the greens and blues are all on this page. Let's try this one. And this one. No, not that one. That's kind of a purpley blue. We'll do these two. And then a little bit of yellowy yellowy green so I'll use those and I will use my my water brush and I need a little something underneath there in case it in case it leaks because I suspect it'll leak because this is absolutely not water water resistant paper at all. I don't want to do a lot on here, just a little bit of I'm not as worried about here because I do want to put a little a little something over in this corner that'll kind of cover up. quiet in the apartment above me until I put the camera on and then and then they start moving sounds like they're throwing furniture Uh, first blue is not quite the right color. This one's not bad. There we go, so we've got a bit of color on there, and it's bled through a little bit on that side. That's fine. We use the heat gun dried up quite a bit. Need a little bit more glue down here. Actually, put these, let me put these guys away. I think I'm done with them. So which colors did I end up using? I used blue, that's an original name. 
I use sky blue and light olive. I have to pull these out and use these more often. I really like these. Now this, because of the moisture, this has come a little bit loose in this corner. Finished with that. So what I have here is a little cut out from another book that I have. I cannot cut a straight line for anything. Oh well. And then do a little bit of distressing on the edge. Just a little bit. So maybe it's not quite so stark white, same as I did with this one. Then I want to put that roughly in the middle. I know I won't get it precisely in the middle, so let's just try to get it sort of in the middle. And then what I want to do with that is use that for a tuck spot. So I'm going to put some double-sided tape on the two sides. So I need it on these two sides. Put that roughly in the corner. And then we have a little, this little tuck spot there. And then I found this, because this is the Scottish Bluebell, this is another type of Bluebell. It's a little bit different than this one, slight different variety of, of the Bluebell. And then I looked up for quotes dealing with the Scottish Bluebell, and this one came up. And I really like that, so I thought I'll just attach that to piece of paper. Does it fit on that one or I think the tan fits in better with the distressing. I want to do a little distressing on the edge of the white here. I don't think this one needs as much because it's already a tan color. So then what I want to do is I just want to attach this on here. See if I can get this roughly, roughly centered and straight. Not bad. I'm sticking to it. I'll just do a teeny bit of journaling on here.
glue on my desk. My wrist was sticking to the desk. Alrighty. So I just wanted to tuck that in there. And again, I just wanted to do a quick little quick little page. Today is uh, this spread was for day 29. So we'll get that stamped and dated. And then hopefully I'll get days 30 and 31 done later today. And then I'll be all caught up again for a couple days. Okay, day 29, and that was on, should have been done on Tuesday, May the 5th. There we go. So just a quick little, quick little spread. Actually, I'm going to kind of connect them a little bit more. Use a little bit of washi. The color does connect them a little bit, but let's just do a little bit of. These aren't bluebells, but they're pretty little blue flowers. So this page didn't quite stick. So let's pop a little bit down there. Pop a little bit on here, and then why don't we? Yeah, that is, I don't think there's a right or wrong side up on this one. There we go, and I think we just do a little join like that, put the washi in between the two pages, it'll help to connect connect the two pages. So there we go. Another quick little page. We connect up the two of these so that they they kind of go together. Alrighty. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.